Hey everybody, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to orient your cams at different angles so they interact with the followers at different points in time. Um, as you can see here, I have added a mid plane in my axle handle, which is going to be super important. And I've also applied a couple of different work planes in my cams. So when you're setting this up and you're working on your cam files, I recommend making a mid plane uh, just using the mid plane between two planes feature, uh, and then also adding a new work plane um, using the origin along the YZ plane, and then finally adding a work axis uh, through the center of the cam as well. So if you don't know how to do this, um, there are other tutorials out there that show you how. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to show you how to assemble it here in this video. So the first thing that I want to do is um, all of my cams here have been constrained to the center of my follower rod using um, the mid plane that's on my follower rod. Uh, the second thing that's going to be most important here is applying an angle constraint between this work plane uh, and the work plane of the axle rod. So I'm going to demo this at three different instances. So if I start off going to constrain, my main focus here is going to be using the angle constraint. So we want a directed angle constraint, and we're going to specify the angle that we're working with. So if I click on my uh, work plane here for my axle rod and the work plane here of my cam, let's say I want to specify that angle to be 30 degrees. So you can see that I now have an offset of 30 degrees between this cam and the work plane. Similarly, um, if I go between this work plane on my second cam and the work plane of my axis handle, I can specify this to be 60 degrees and say apply. Oh, Lastly, right. if I go to this work plane and my final axle rod, um, I can specify this to be 90 degrees and say apply. Now, what you're seeing here is a uh, rotation of my cams at all different angles. So to have this actually interact with your follower rods, the first thing that I want to do is go to my different work planes and uncheck the visibility, uh, just so we can have a bit of a clearer picture here. And let's go ahead and uncheck the visibility of my work plane. And to get the follower rod to actually interact with the cams here, I'm going to apply a transitional constraint. So go to constrain, go to transitional, and this is really important. You have to click on the bottom of the follower rod first before you click on the cam. So I'm going to do this for each of my cam interactions. And say apply. And now, um, when I rotate my axle handle, uh, we should see the cams interacting with my followers at different points. Now, if at any point you want to adjust any of the angles, you can go into each one of your pair cams and you can adjust the angle. So, for example, um, if I want to change this one to be 120 degrees, um, that will go ahead and rotate for me. Same thing here. If I want to rotate it back to 30, um, you can really orient this however you want. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you.